Hey everybody, I'm going to start by showing you the football field and the track field. And the Broughton baseball field is back there on the left. If you see behind that light brown gold colored shed, there's a baseball field over there. And I am standing directly across from the Holiday Gym. Okay, so this is the gymnasium. This is where we have a lot of our um, fun rallies and Queen of Hearts events. And of course, students play basketball and study physical education. There's classrooms in the upstairs of the Holiday Gym. And right in front of it is the bus loop. This is where you'll get dropped off if you take the school bus to Broughton. And you can see the activity buses back there. This is the bus loop. And this is the back of the school. Okay, you are closest to the actual science wing of Broughton High School. And what looks like portable buildings are portable buildings. That is where most of the world language classes are. Whether you're taking French, um, there's a statistics class in there, Spanish, a couple different Spanish teachers, a Chinese teacher, um, just all the different world languages that we offer here at Broughton. There's also a brick, brick building here and you'll see on the other side of it, um, garage doors, that is where the auto, auto shop is, where you can learn how to uh, work on engines of automobiles. And behind that is actually the weight training building. Um, it's connected to this auto shop. It's where you'll take um, weight weightlifting class and different um, phys physical education classes like that. Or if you play a sport, you might come back here for um, working out. There's a terrific um, circuit and it's in the very last door. Um, you can see a red garbage can over there. I zoom, 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 zoom way in. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I'm coming again from the back of the building as if I just got off the bus. And so this is where you can see the back of the science wing. So all three fo floors have science classes on them and they're connected to the rest of the building for the most part. There's a couple places where there's a disconnect and you have to go up a level to go down a level sort of thing. You'll understand once you're here. And again, there's two portable buildings for the world language classes. Okay. So, all right, so I'm gonna go in so there. Here you can see the inner courtyard. This is one place you can go and eat your lunch. And there's doors to get into different parts of the building here. If you're taking a lot of CTE classes, uh, career and technical ed, there's a door um, past some trees to the right that will get you there. Um, there's also on the left of the main building, you're gonna see a bunch of math classrooms on the left. Um, but right here on this end, this whole end, you are going to find lots and lots of science classes. Okay, in these, in these rooms here on both sides. Okay, one more thing I wanted to talk about is over here, you're gonna see another courtyard with picnic tables. That's another place that you can eat lunch. So whether you pack a lunch or buy your lunch, you can come out here during your lunch half hour and eat your lunch here or here or in the cafeteria. Okay, I'm gonna go inside. Okay, so these are the first set of science doors. I could go inside to get to some science classrooms or to get to a staircase. That leads to upstairs to more science classrooms. But I'm actually gonna go around the corner. And because this was a newer addition, built in the late 80s. It's not integrated 100%. So I'm actually gonna go back outside into a breezeway. And then there's that courtyard again, the inner courtyard where you can eat lunch. 
there's another set of doors. I can go up these stairs here and it takes me to the second floor where there's a bunch of English classrooms. Or I can go through these doors to get to the math classrooms. It's also another way to get to this other courtyard. As you can see here. And this is the cafeteria. And the doors to go in there are way down there. Okay, so you can get into the cafeteria. That's the cafeteria. There's lots and lots of seating, a couple different lunch lines. And this is the beautiful courtyard where you can sit and eat your lunch. Okay. All right, so I am gonna go in and then head down the math hallway. So this is actually an arts classroom for computer arts. You can see the beautiful work students in the past have done. But most of these here are math classrooms. Okay, this is the first floor and I'm going toward the front of the building. This is our elevator that's currently out of order. And again, you can see the courtyard again from in here. Okay, so all the numbers on this hallway start with one three because we're on the first floor and this is the 300 hallway. This is the 400 hallway, okay? There's a couple more math classes here. Miss Ratledge, Miss, um, I can think of her first name, I can't think of her last name, Miss Fisher, her math classroom. And then down there is my classroom and CTE, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, this is another courtyard. This is not one that students can access unless you come here with your class. This one is the inner courtyard and on the other side of the courtyard is the main office where our very important people all reside during the day. Okay, so I'm gonna take you down there. This is considered the 400 hallway. So first floor, 400. So the cross halls are always going to be in the 400s and the first number is going to indicate what floor you're on. So if I'm above this, it's going to be room 2402. And if I go to the third floor, it's going to be 3402. Okay. These are the doors that would exit you to the cafeteria or to go upstairs. This is where Officer Ferran's office is. He's our school resource officer. Okay, Mr. Schmidt is an English teacher. He's, he and I are the, I think the only two on the first floor. Um, this is the faculty mail room. You will not be going in there. However, you may be called to see the school administrator at some point. If you go in this door, you'll see the school secretary. To the right is Mr. Lentz's office. To the left is Ms. Dr. Ashburn's office. And um, if you're ever called there, that's where those two administrators reside. Um, there's a Mr. Ludwig's on the second floor and Mr. Cassidy and Mr. McGovern are on the third floor. Also, these are the front doors that you would be coming in. Okay, if you come in those front doors, um, and I'll show you them from the outside in a little bit, you will see this is where the auditorium is, first thing. Okay, that's our school auditorium. Those are the doors that would get you into the auditorium. 
for dance performances, theater performances, chorus, band, etc. Also, you're going to see a doorway that leads to a stairwell. And downstairs, we call it the basement, is where all the math classrooms are that are not on this first floor. So it's all filled with math teachers down there. Okay, and there's the math hallway here. 